40 Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans and Gifted Days manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for the Elusive Samurai chapter 142. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm, which is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And we ain't sponsored by Shueisha. And we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And we ain't sponsored by Viz. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little samurai kitty, who is um, preparing for his next fight and this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one feel free to hit up our cash up and paypal links are in the description box below so well last chapter of the elusive samurai we got to go around and see um, the state of the battles but then well we found out it's not looking good for my husband Aki which by the way he is on the cover of um, of the next volume of Elusive Samurai, which makes me really want to wall scroll of it. <laughs> I love I love Aki that much. But anyways, let's get to this chapter. See what's in store for us this week. And also something that I do is um, and I've been doing for a while is because for some reason. Viz does not like including the opening and closing text, so I've translated it from the Spanish version that is available on um, Manga Plus. Let's see, go. With such an opulent and delicious feast, God, I'm hungry. I have not eaten this morning. But dude, the sh <laughs> shrooms! What is with these shrooms? Oh my God. That feast looks amazing though, oh my God. Um, but God damn it, dude. I'm scared of what is happening with them shrooms back there. Gemma, what you doing with them shrooms? Natsu, do not eat them shrooms. N Nina, don't eat them shrooms either. <laughs> Nina's like, look like, whoa. I mean, this chapter is titled uh, Malfunction 1338. All right, here we go. Let me make sure I have this. Um, the Battle of uh, Anagahara, the decisive confrontation. Here we go, there's my boy. So we got the um, Toki army, 700 warriors, and the um, Mamoni army. Wait, did I read that right? Um, uh, Mamonoi army. There we go. 300 warriors. Toki only has 700 warriors? Toki governs uh, Mino province. He should be able to raise more troops. Does he have another uh, force somewhere? Either way, if we do not win here, we won't be able to break through Anagahara. Get information, Kasuga. They will attack our main force. Sorry, Toki, but I, Momonai, uh, Titan City, will strike first to <laughs> the hair! The hair! Oh my god. And by the way, uh, I almost forgot. I've seen um, the other visual, the new visual for, um, for the Elusive Samurai. Uh, we still haven't gotten a trailer. We've gotten all these teaser visuals that uh, make me very concerned. Oh god, I'm very, very concerned. Seriously. Matsui, I beg you, please, please contribute to the anime. Please step in and crack the whip. Young Momonoi has driven his troops deep into the enemy. Leave him. I will win this battle anyway. Charge! Oh! Momonoi, dude, who's Momonoi going to fight up against? Because, you know, Toki Tokiyuki is heading over there, so Tokiyuki might go up against him. We'll see. Or, um, or, or Kojiro might. Toki is gigantic and his um, might is uh, beyond doubt, but how can he hope to win with so few troops? Well, because he's a fucking monster, that's why. Dude is riding on two freaking horses. This man is massive. Oh my god, this man is massive. He, he's a force of destruction. What a monster. Toki is impressive, but we expected this. Respond as planned. Thundering um, seashore formation. Oh, that's, that's not going to work. Um, oh, there's a noble co <laughs> commentator. Whoa, the shield walls forced the enemy to the left. Um, they're in front of Lord Aki's bow. Get him, Aki! Toki's attack is like a ripple striking a boulder. His charge will break and scatter. 
that's my man, that's my man, quadruple arrow Brady, do my man, that's my man right there, oh my god, I love Aki, Aki is just amazing, he deserves the world, I hope he doesn't die, because I love him that much, and yeah, he, he is his bondo, he is his bondo, yes, yes, shit at their backs, prepare for another charge, the enemy lost 100 men in a single attack. If they keep doing that, we'll win easily, but... Ah, I see. We can uh, win by breaking Aki's tight defenses. Charge again. Show the Toki party strength. Um, what happened to your hand? Um, Toki-sama lopped, uh, lopped off half of it. Oh, right. <laughs> but look at how magnificently uh, uh, Gorobododo fights. Oh, <laughs> yeah! If we win, I'll be the strongest man alive and go back to the white by dish. <laughs> Set your spirits ablaze and we'll get out of here alive. I swear to... Uh, nope. All thoughts stopped. Nope. In the face of, uh, of overwhelming strength um, and certain death. Dude. <gasps> Those eyes, man. Ooh. Them eyes are scurry. Damn. Uh-oh, no! It's said that Toki began the day with 700 men and ended with only 23. Being ready to be annihilated is one thing, but trying to win with 97% casualties is madness. Dude, this is so... Dude, I'm not gonna lie. This does make me think of um, Kaki in a way, because Kaki would do some crazy shit like this, too. Not crazy... Whoa! His soldiers must have been incredibly brave and loyal, or... Is their perception of death malfunctioning so that they didn't mind the sacrifice? I think it was the latter, probably. Um, maybe it was because uh, they were so scared of Toki that uh, their perception perception of death was malfunctioning, so they, they didn't mind the sacrifice. It's like, yeah, it's better than dealing with this motherfucker. <laughs> exploding so whoa, exploding soldiers! But what? The fragment of uh, their armor and bones that cover a wide area. Uh, the main force is breaking. Protect Akisama. Don't forget me, Nagayama-sama, as your rank caves in, you're easy pickings. Toki's explo exploding soldiers have disrupted us. Nagayama and uh, Momonoi's charge is blowing us away. Their warcraft is overcoming our numbers. Oh no, Lord Aki, no! The Imperial Court's greatest treasure, and my Bondo, no! Yee! Sorry for being late. Now let the wild Azuma Ibisu um, protect you like untamed- Oh, like untamed beasts! Yes, the Ibisu are here too! Ooh, okay. Toki, Tokiyuki rallied up the troops. We got the Ibisu and the Azuma Ibisu. Dude, the Azuma Ibisu, remember, they are wild motherfuckers. They are going to go in. But let me read this part, this bottom part here. All the troops have gathered to support their lord in distress. Now it's time to turn the tables and go on the attack. Dude, next chapter is going to be so epic. And we're at the third year anniversary of this manga, by the way. I should... Oh, God. I want to mention my thoughts on the chapter and then talk about uh, the manga a little bit. Um, because, uh, because we're at the third year anniversary mark. I'm so hyped for this. This is going to be very interesting to see what um, Tokiyuki and um, the Ibisu do. Um, will, uh, I don't know how I will feel about Tokiyuki taking out Toki. I don't know. Because I, I, I want Aki to do it. I really want Aki to take him out. But remember, we saw Tokiyuki take out his brother. So it's like, uh, okay. I could see, I could see that happening. But Kojiro is go definitely going up against, uh, um, um, uh, Momonoi. Yeah, Kodro is going up against Momonoi. I, I, I can't see a scenario where Kodro doesn't go up against Momonoi. But damn, Toki is brutal, man. He, lo he lost 97% of his troops by the end of this fight. Oh my god. This is going to be brutal. Next chapter's art is going to be brutal. And this, let's be real, this chapter's art was brutal, but the thing is, and this is why I say the Azuma Ibisu, they're, they're gonna probably do a lot of damage, maybe even, um, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if the Azuma Ibisu is gonna finish off Toki, I doubt that, but 
I have to bring up Kingdom. I have to bring up Conky and Kingdom. Remember the thing with Conky and why he, um, why he outsmarted uh, Roboku on numerous occasions is because he was originally a bandit and he had the bandit mindset. The Ibisu, they have like a wild bandit mindset too. They don't give a fuck. They just are, they just want to kill and just do what they need to do. That's why I'm like, yeah. I could sit, uh, God. Hockey is like Conky for that reason because he gets the wildest mofos filing him. <laughs> but yeah, I could see that. I could see this happening. But damn, this is going to be very interesting to see how it goes down. But now, in terms of the, I can't believe it's been three years since um, the Elusive Samurai started. Um, for those of you that don't remember, I, I've been with this manga since it started, and you should watch my full playlist. And if you watch my first chapter live reaction, this was, this manga came out, like, literally around the same time Kimetsu no Yaiba ended. And this was when, um, Shueisha was trying to find, you know, the next Kimetsu no Yaiba. And I remember reading the, you know, covering the first chapter, and I was blown away. And I was like, yeah, this is the next Kimetsu no Yaiba. This is better than Kimetsu no Yaiba. And it is. Let's be real. The Elusive Samurai is better than Kimetsu no Yaiba. It has the comedy. It, the characters are good. The writing is fabulous. Um, and, uh, and of course, the art. The art, man. Ooh, the art. The art is just so beautiful. Oh, my God. Like, Matsui is just going above and beyond for this art. And... I would say, yeah, I would say throughout this whole thing, since the three year, since it started three years ago, I still stand, and I, you know it, I've said it many a times, I stand by what I said. This is better than Kimetsu no Yaiba. This is, the, well, not only the new Kimetsu no Yaiba, but it's better than Kimetsu no Yaiba. I really hope the anime is going to do this justice. I, uh, Demon Slayer, it's a little bit easier to, to do in terms of an adaptation, but Matsui, because of his art being so good and detailed like this, it's a little bit harder. So it'll be interesting to see how Cloverworks does this, especially without uh, Matsui cracking the whip. Oh my god, I'm so scared for this anime. But man, this manga is just, it's just so beautiful. I'm glad that Jap I'm glad Japan agrees that the Elusive Samurai is worthy of greatness. Because it is. It is worthy of it. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What you guys thought of this chapter. Are you guys excited to see um, uh, the Ibisu go in on um, going to battle? And do you think Aki... I really want Aki to get that final blow on Toki. I really do. But we'll have to wait and see on how that goes. We'll have to wait and see. And what do you guys, do you guys think uh, Kojiro is going to be the one to take out Momonoi? I really do. I'd like to see him and Nita take out Momonoi. I could, I could see that. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more um, elusive samurai content. You ways you can do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That is in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.